Hello everyone. This video is drawing still life with color pencil on toned paper. Have you ever experienced you can't completely erase the color pencil mark? So that's why I always started with pencil. When we draw an outline, we should pay attention to see the object where is receiving the most of the light, which is, is the brightest area. So in today's drawing, the top of the banana receiving the most of the light. So those area we need to erase most of the pencil lines because you don't want to show the black dark lines on it. But on the bottom of the banana, we'll have a lot of shadows. So those area, we can keep the dark lines. We're going to draw it dark anyway. After the outline is done, then you can think of how to start to put in the color on the drawings. So take a look at the drawing that we're going to draw. It's a banana. You see a lot of yellow on the banana. So those is going to be the under colors. I will use uh, yellow colors. Draw it all over the banana first. Then I will overlay the other colors on top to create shadows and three-dimensional look. So on top of the banana has very light colors. You don't want to see those uh, uh, dark pencil mark and pencil lines. So I will erase most of the pencil lines because I only want like some yellow and a little bit, little bit green color on it. What I am holding is a kneaded eraser, very helpful. You can form it into different shape, um, a pointy shape to erase the small area, a big flat shape to erase the bigger area. It's like a never dry clay. You can get it in all kind of a store, like Blake Art and Michael online. Now I add a little bit more yellow on top. Now it's time to think of putting other color on it. As you can see right here and here has some green showing on the banana. So now it's time to put in some greens. We always start with the lighter colors with color pencil. Just like how, how we use the watercolor to paint, we always go lighter and then go darker because the light color won't show up on the darker area. And the dark colors are very easy to show up on the, on the lighter area. So always, always use the lighter color first. And when I draw, I won't use the full string of the pencils. I always like use half of the strings. Like I just lightly, uh, evenly draw 
the colors out. And then, when there's an area need to be a little bit、uh, more darker colors, then I push the color, push the co-、uh, pencil a little bit harder to give it a little bit more darker colors. Now the green is done. Now it's time to put in other colors. We can overlay many color on top as long as the paper can take it. We can always add more color on top. So I am drawing the shadows underneath the banana. Even the shadow, I always start with the lighter brown, then I go with the darker colors. Is the shadow only have brown colors? No. Then again, what kind of color will see in the shadow? If you have a banana, put it under the light and take a good look. What kind of color you can see on the shadow?、Um, you will be very surprised. There's many colors in the shadow, not just use brown for the shadow. The shadow itself, it will has. Whatever colors on the table, if the banana put it on top of the table, so the table colors, of course, were in it, and the light source. What is the color of the light? If the color have a little bit yellow, then it will have a tiny little bit yellow go in the shadows. And what else? There will be a little bit color from the stuff that you join, which is we join banana. So we will see a little bit yellow and green in the shadows, not too much, but overall you will see a little bit in the shadows. Now we're gonna draw the tippy top of the banana. To draw this. Area we need to pay attention to the edges. Some has a little long triangles、uh, sticking out, and some has not. Some area it's have like a very thin lines. Both of the banana has a different look, so we need to draw them different too, so that make the drawing more interesting to look at it. So as you can see, I put in some black, and I after the black, I still can put in some lighter color on top.、Um, when we put the light color over the dark colors, it will act like a mixing tool for the darker colors. It will make the darker color more smoother when you're using、um, color pencil. So、um, there's a question for. How are we gonna use the white、um, color pencils? It's not gonna do anything. And the white color pencil is also act like a blending tool for smooth out, make your other colors smooth out, and maybe will give you a little bit darker colors if you use white color on top of other colors. Also, if You using a little bit、uh, like I using brown over the black, so then that area will have a little bit brown showing, so that 
will make the drawing more interesting to look at it. Now we're gonna draw the shadows. Look at the shadows. Outside edges, it's a little bit blurred. And the edges close to the banana, it's more darker. The whole shadow area is not the same value, so we need to pay attention to this kind of a detail. Now it's time to draw the brown spot on top of the banana. So we need to pay attention to see the top plane and the side plane. They are in different angles. So what do you think? Are we going to draw all the brown spot on the banana? Take a wild guess. The answer is no. I will not draw every single spot on the banana. <laughs> the, the important thing we need to draw is the shape of the brown spot. The top print the top plane is have a little bit. If you like my video, please hit the like button or subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notice if I upload new video. On the other hand, if you join my Patreon, become my Patreon member, you will see a lot of a new art tutorial videos each month. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.